What's good guys? Today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at three different music video lighting setups that I think you guys are gonna find really helpful and useful. These three setups are very simple, very cool, but very effective at the same time. They don't require too many lights and they're not too hard to grasp, uh, so let's just get straight into them. So the first setup that we're gonna be taking a look at is only composed of two lights. A quick note though is you probably wanna add another light into this setup if you have a background that's visually pleasing, but since we're just in my garage and we just have a funky, little paper backdrop in the background. We don't we don't want to highlight, we don't want to accent this. So just two lights for this setup. But if you have a visually pleasing background, you might want to add another light into this just to light that. So keep that in mind. The setup is very simple and fundamental. Uh, it just features one key light and a hair light, kicker light, a accent light. I don't know, I've heard so many different names for these lights, but uh, the first light that we're gonna be taking a look at is the key light. Now for my key light, the key light is typically the biggest source of light that is highlighting and accenting your subject. So for my key light, I'm gonna be using the 120D with the light dome. Don't get too caught up in the gear and the different lights that I'm using because you can really achieve these looks with any light and a few different modifiers. So don't get too caught up in them. Just Take a note of where they are in terms of placement in relation to me, the subject, in the video. I'm using the 120D for my key light though. Where this is in terms of where I am is around a 45 degree angle to my face. We need those shadows in the shot. We need shadows to add cinematics. You gotta have contrast, man. You don't want everything to be the same tone. So we need a little bit of shadows in this. Now where the hair light is and the kicker light in terms of the key light is directly diagonal. So the hair light and the kicker light is placed just right over my shoulder, my right shoulder. And it's just really pointing and aiming at the side of my face just to give it a little bit of detail over there, but not too much detail. It's just a little bit, man. It's just highlighting and accents it and it helps separate me from the background. So this is a very simple and effective setup. And uh, if you want to add in some different colors into the setup as well, it's going to take it to another level. Just give familiar with what colors work best with each other blues oranges yellows greens etc stuff like that and add those colors into your scene adding color contrast can completely transform a boring simple shot to something that's dynamic and visually pleasing the second look that we're going to be taking a look at is a little bit more stylistic and it's going to look best when the subject is wearing shades just so you can see that tube light that is uh acting as the key light source for this uh setup aside from the tube key source we just have another kicker hair light in the exact same position as it was last time just placed over the right shoulder aimed at the out of my face just to give that little bit of detail there it just always adds a little bit to lighting setups if you're interested in creating tube lights like these i actually created a video a few months back where i went in depth and i did the wiring and the purchasing of these lights at lowe's they're super cheap they're super easy to use so if you're interested in that just click uh the info card above check that video out and uh you know go out and create you some tube lights because these are really cool so for the tube light the way that we mounted it was just to a c-stand boom pole so you might need a c-stand or a boom pole for this setup just to mount it out in front of the subject and have it floating like this the way that we did it though was super simple we just placed it onto the actual boom pole on the c-stand just put it onto the boom pole wrap a few layers of gaff tape on there and it'll be good it's a light light so it's not gonna fall or anything like that so it'll be good as far as the hair light the kicker light we have that placed over my right shoulder just exactly how it was in the previous lighting setup like i said very simple this is really just used to accent that side of my face and uh just give us some separation between the background and me this lighting setup doesn't look bad without the shades but the shades are just gonna add that extra dynamic to it you can even add in multiple of these two lights to add in another shape you can do a triangle you can do an x just get creative with it very simple lighting setup though i just realized i never said what kind of spotlight i was using the spotlight is also by aperture i'm going to leave a link in the description to all the lights but like i said just pay attention to where they're located don't really don't really focus too much on the gear don't focus on it God, I swear, every time I'm trying to record a video, it's a plane outside, it's a trash truck, it's an ambulance, it's, uh, I don't even know what's out there. It's beeping, it's going slow. What is that? What is it? Wow. 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 It's a, it's a black cat bulldozer and it's pushing down the street going two miles per hour. So for this last and final lighting setup, it's a lot more dark, a lot more grim. And it's just going to add that vibe to the video that you're creating. This setup features three lights, but I think two of them are only necessary with another modifier. I'll touch on that later when it, we get to that light. The first light that we're going to take a look at is the overhead key light source. I'm using a 120D for this. And the stand that I'm using to get the light directly overhead, directly above me, it's just a C stand. You need some sort of boom arm. So 
You wanna get a C-stand with the boom arm just to get the light directly over your head. It's gonna look the best this way. I just have the 120D facing directly down on me and it's just giving me a really dark shadow look for the bottom half of my face. It just adds those cool dramatics to the shot. The second light that we're gonna take a look at is the spotlight. I have it in the exact same space. It's just over my right shoulder aiming just to give my side of my face a little bit more definition over there. I have it up, I have it hitting hard. It looks cool, man. Hair lights are really cool. So if you didn't, if you didn't notice, I love hair lights, I love them. Now the third light that I was talking about that I don't necessarily think is necessary for this shot, a LED panel that I have just placed right at the bottom of the tripod. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it's just aiming up, shooting a really soft light just to accent and highlight the bottom of my face because with this overhead lighting setup, you get a lot of shadows. So by no means is this light necessary. You can completely shadow these things out if that's something that you wanted to do. Or you can even add in a modifier like a reflector or even a bounce board and just place it at the bottom half of the subject, shoot it back up, and it's just gonna redirect that light that's coming from the overhead back up to them, highlight the bottom half of their face. So those are the three different lighting setups, man. You can actually add colors to all of these lighting setups to just completely transform them into something way different than what I was just talking about. So keep that in mind. I released a video a few months ago where I was talking about $5 gels, which is just some color plastic that I get from Lowe's and like the dollar store. And you can pick these up for super cheap. Just attach them to your lights, transform them. Uh, and you know add some color to the video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe man drop this video a like let me know down in the comments what was your favorite lighter setup and uh, if you plan to use any of these in your future video projects appreciate y'all though man make sure y'all hit that subscribe button like comment peace out man